So I got a comment asking how this shifter works. This is a Hurst dual pattern synchro lock shifter. This is an older three speed shifter. They phased these out in the 70s. But back in the day when three speeds were really popular, this was like the shifter to have. And you can turn it into kind of what they call an inline shifter. And this fork here, that's the shifter handle. And you see there's a roll pin on the one side. Well, you can put a roll pin in the center there, in that other hole, and that'll hold this, and it'll be like a normal shifter. Or you take that roll pin out like I have done, and what that does is makes it so that when you go from first to second, the spring in here will automatically pop the shifter over to your next set of gears. So you just jam it forward and it'll pop in a second instead of having to go to neutral and move it over yourself. So it just makes it a little easier to do that. So I'm going to get in the car and kind of show how that works. So here it is on the top. So you'll notice it's in neutral, normal. But when you're in this set of gears, reverse or first, it's not locked in. And that's because that roll pin's out of it, so this is the spring acting on it. But what's nice is you're in first, now you're in second. You don't have to like stop and move it over. It's already popped over, and you're in second. So when it gets to the middle, you can kind of hear it and see it. Pops it over. So it's a tight spring. So you don't have to worry about it. it doesn't go in the reverse. So it's kind of cool. I've never, I don't think I've ever driven it with that other pin in it. So I can't really tell you like a comparison. But it is pretty nice to drive it like this. So anyways, that's how that works. That is a Hurst dual pattern synchro lock shifter.